Hey everyone, Matt here from Exploring Alternatives. We recently did a video about Jade, a farmer who converted a school bus into a beautiful motorhome. What we didn't really talk about in that video is that he also converted that school bus and his small truck to run on vegetable oil. Vegetable oil that he gets for free from restaurants all over. He did the conversion himself and what's really interesting is that any vehicle that runs on diesel fuel can be converted to run on vegetable oil, which is really awesome. So keep watching this video to find out how it all works. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I have people pull up beside me or behind me if I go to a restaurant and I'm on the road and they run up and they go, what are you burning? You smell like french fries. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the vegetable oil tank. Okay. So it's basically just another fuel tank. They're separate, so you still have your full uh, diesel system yeah. your car, your truck comes from. And then you have this, and, and, the, and in a nutshell, the system is this simple. It's this tank, and the line from this tank joins the line from the diesel tank, and you put a valve there. And you have a switch so you can go back and forth. Yeah, okay. and I'll show you the switch. So you start on diesel, you hit the button, you turn to this tank. Okay. And then before you park, you hit the button, and it goes back to the diesel tank. Once the system is installed, this right now this setting is on diesel fuel. This is the tank, this is the gauge for the... The, the vegetable oil. So once you're started, you just click the button and automatically you're on vegetable oil. When you come to a stop, you just hit go back to here, you're on diesel fuel. And when you want to purge, run diesel fuel through the whole lines back to the vegetable oil tank, which is what you would do in winter, you just hit this button. So super easy operation. So the diesel fuel comes into this filter. This is what was on the truck to start. The vegetable oil comes into this filter here. From here, both both of these uh, sources, diesel and grease, run into this valve right here. Huh. So when you hit that button, it either takes from diesel or it takes from vegetable oil source. From here, it goes straight into the injector system, burns in your motor. And then the other the, uh, diesel motors don't use all of the fuel that the injectors supply. So a little bit is always returned back to your tank, right? So when I'm running on diesel, the extra diesel goes back to the diesel tank. When I'm running on vegetable oil, the extra fuel goes back to the vegetable oil tank. This is a real simple system. I like simple systems, they're easier to fix. You can get more complicated, you can get sensors, you can have uh, temperature sensors on your vegetable oil, you can get sensors that tell you how close to clogged up your, your filters are. You can get more complicated, but if you wanted a simple system, this is as simple as it gets, super easy. When I was doing this as a farmer and delivering vegetables, it was cutting my fuel bill down by 300 bucks, you know? So as a small scale farmer, uh, that's a big difference to me, right? Mm -hmm. So use cooking oil, use it straight. The big deal is not to use it from uh, pubs and places that deep fry uh, animal, uh, you know, chicken wings and stuff like that, because animal fat doesn't burn. Okay. <laughs> it clogs up the filters. Huh. It doesn't have the same power. So you want to always use canola or sunflower oil from places that uh, the best is like A&W high-end restaurants. So that's the, the main thing with finding your vegetable oil. And the other is just filtering it properly. So I do it just through a hand pump uh, diesel filters. It's just basically a regular diesel fuel filter. It's only this big oh. with a little bit of metal attachment and then some hoses, right? And then a little hand pump. So um, I have taken right from a grease source through the hand pump right into this tank here. And that's kind of the uh, manual way to do it. They now have a um, filter built, uh, power filter built specifically for vegetable oil. And you can literally take one end and stick it in your source. So you go behind the restaurant. Um, stick it in the barrel and then the, the power filter runs off your car battery and you can stick the other end right in your diesel your your grease tank and it fills it up wow that's amazing so there's no intermediate so right now i'm packing barrels around so i filter it into the barrel and then from there i put it into the truck or the, or the bus right hmm. no need to do that anymore yeah you can you know it costs 600 bucks but but it's well worth it i've only had a couple people turn me down okay and one person looked at me like I was going to do something really weird with the oil <laughs> yes. and the other person just didn't really understand and was being really cautious. But otherwise, I've usually had managers come out and get excited and say, oh, I've heard of this. I've never seen it done. Can I help? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so as I've traveled around BC and Alberta, I actually have certain towns that I pretty much know the people. Yeah and uh in different towns and i just stop at the same sources and oh you're back oh yeah let's go <laughs> and we go back and we have fun pumping the oil into my tanks and, so. and have you ever traveled around and had to store oil in your vehicle while you were traveling just as kind of a backup yeah in my bus i extended the back bumper so i could carry two 45 gallon barrels 
And then on this truck here, I have a 45 gallon barrel that I sit in the back. Okay. So potential, and I welded two 45 gallon barrels together as my fuel tank. So potentially, if I was fully loaded, I'd have like five full barrels of oil, <laughs> which is a lot of weight, right? Yeah. I was thinking, you know, what if I'm way back in the boonies for a few months and I can't get, or I'm way out in the, you know, northern BC and I'm not close to any sources. But in the last three years, I've realized that it's so easy to get. You know? yeah. There's a there's a deep fryer anywhere all the time, right? Yeah. So I don't I know I don't have to pack that much oil around. So especially now, I'm going to buy that new power pump, and I'll just have my two barrels underneath my regular tank, and that'll be it. Okay. Yeah, I've never even come close to running out. The first truck I did was a Dodge a 4x4 truck, my farm truck. So I bought a kit from Grease Car. It took me six hours to install it, complete from start to finish never had a problem with it yeah. so if you're stationary it's super easy if you're on the road then you then you know i've been traveling with extra vegetable oil but if you're like situated in one spot like when you're, you're just in one it's so easy to do yeah yeah you can stockpile the stuff you could get a little co-op going a few people doing it share the expense of that power pump and and, the, yeah. and a grease station you know and have fun doing it yeah it burns a bit cleaner than diesel but there's still a carbon footprint there right. yeah but the big deal for me is it's recycled yeah it's free and it feels better.